The hour is late. We need to consider our constitutional responsibility required by the Davidson window and respond with the urgency it demands. I encourage my fellow members to answer the bell and support this bill. I thank the chairman and yield back the balance of my time. Those are the individuals that really actually make the best to the environment. So this isn't, I tell folks, this isn't about me, although my name's on the door. None of this in this office could happen without the incredible folks we have here on staff. So I realize every day how blessed I am. We have the best staff. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a refreshing aspect of what happens today. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming my co-chair of the Congressional Shipbuilding Caucus, Joe Court. And I want to note that our anglers and hunters are the lead conservationists across our nation. For the future with uh, DOD. Well, listen, I, I, think, I think DOD is asking the right questions. The key is, is no, this isn't, this isn't a, a single DOD enterprise. I mean, this is an enterprise that's going to go across all segments of society. So while DOD certainly puts out there their perspective on things, should not profit from investments that fuel uh, the empowerment of the Chinese Communist Party. That's, that's fundamental. And we see what China's doing in its aggressive behavior. The United States, in any way, shape, or form, should not be facilitating that.